Oh, I well, I know this is part, part well, it's a huge chunk of it due to the fact that um, I've been uh, loving the fact that Hoser House Rules are back um, posting videos of their uh, dungeon adventures and whatnot. Um, oh, it's just it's just a lot of fun. And that's you know, got, getting me going. Plus, I'm just uh, lately just been on the creativity vibe or crafty vibe or just wanting to just let my mind go all over the flipping place vibe. And it's nice. I'm, I just I'll, I also have to remind myself, like I said, to um, uh, it's weird. This week is going to be a strange uh, one for the live stream, I think, because um, it, it, I don't feel like I, in some ways I feel like I've slacked off. And in some ways I don't because I'm thinking, well, no, you've got to remember it's also, um, you know, it's your kind of like journey each week on like, you know, learning about World War One and so on and so forth. But it's it just doesn't feel like I've I've got this huge amount of material uh, put off to the side, but uh, oh, and on a second note, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention it again during the live stream just in case. Um, well, it's a good thing to uh, to say as well. I've been uh, watching um, serialized again. I, I can't watch a movie at this point in time. Uh, I just don't have enough time, like that much of a chunk of block of time in in one you know one uh, continuous thing. Uh, I've been serializing the movie Aces High uh, with Christopher Plummer and Malcolm McDowell. Really good. It's not at all what I expected it to go uh, the way it is, and I'm liking the way it's going. Um, anyways, uh, one thing that just dawned on me, uh, you see lots of times those guys like uh, starting up the engine there with the propeller and, they're, you know, the contact and, and off it goes. And uh, I was thinking to myself, you know what? That's exactly what the Callendale uh, playthrough videos were for me for this live stream. I honestly believe that if the Callendale, uh, if he hadn't get, uh, said, yeah, go for it, you can uh, use my videos, um, you know, for that, I don't think so. Like he, in a weird way, is kind of like he started the propeller. Like he started, you know, l uh, letting this take off into the air, my live stream kind of thing. And I honestly don't believe if uh, that Callendale playthrough is available for me i don't think it would have uh it would have happened to be honest with you. i don't think i would have figured out a way of getting some material maybe i would have but um i'm extremely grateful and like i said i'm going to mention it again tomorrow in the live stream however like i said i don't believe in, in coincidences and look at this seems like an awfully similar color to the freaking gold iron uh two-headed dragon over there and um you know what the two-headed dragon isn't all that bad size i don't know what if there's a special term for two-headed dragons but in my little world what i'm going to say is that um uh what i'm calling my four against whatever um um that this is a hermaphroditic dragon uh maybe juvenile stage or something so not enough to like you know wipe you out in two, in two seconds flat but uh, considered extremely valuable to people if you can capture one at a certain age or whatever due to the fact that they can, um, um, you know, they can produce their own eggs that are viable kind of thing. That's why I'm going with it anyways. And so I think, the, I think, um, yeah, you probably don't remember the names. So that's Xenopus. Like I said, that's from uh, the Holmes uh, dungeon in the back of the book, the blue book. And I'm just, that's just, uh, you know, a shout out to him. Uh, Xenopus the wizard, uh, that's Galen, um, uh, and that's, uh, drum, um, uh, sorry, that's, um, that's Galen, that's, um, Drumlin Piedmont, and that's Leela, and, uh, there we go, and I think I'll try to figure out something, uh, on how they can, yeah, these are, two, like I said, I've, I've got four of these guys in their younger versions, and so I always like to do, like, kind of like a time travel -y thing if I want, like, I can say, okay, you know, this guy's going to go with the younger versions. You can do all, like mix and match. And so these guys are more powerful, but maybe have less, um, you know, uh, physical abilities kind of thing. Like, for example, his younger version, well, this guy can't fire a bow anymore, but uh, his younger version was a kick-ass uh, archer kind of thing. That type of stuff. Okay. See you later. Hope you're having a fantastic time. Bye.